Microbes are in us, on us, and all around us. They have a wide range of functions. They can cause the decay of materials, ferment sugar to make wine, and produce antibiotics. But did you know the discoverer of microbes wasn't a scientist? He was a draper. Drapers used magnifying glasses to inspect the quality of their fabrics. Antony van Leeuwenhoek was a draper and merchant who, unhappy with those lenses, taught himself glassmaking. He created high-quality tiny glass spheres that could magnify objects up to 270 times. His microscopes were less than two inches long and were used by holding one's eye close to the tiny lens and looking at a sample suspended on a pin. As a good merchant, he knew to keep his microscope secret, but that wouldn't be possible for long. Van Leeuwenhoek was a curious man, so he started analysing anything he could get his hands on. He sent his discoveries on mould, lice and bees to the Royal Society in London, who were familiar with similar work. However, his next discovery caused the scientists to question his credibility, as it was something completely unknown to them. Van Leeuwenhoek had come upon an infinity of tiny animals in pond water, which he called animalcules. They are now known as microbes. This was the first ever sighting of single-celled organisms, so no wonder the Royal Society didn't trust him. Van Leeuwenhoek was forced to show his microscopes to various political and religious personalities they sent to prove he was of sound mind, and they finally believed him. Van Leeuwenhoek never wrote a book. His discoveries were all communicated through hundreds of letters to the Royal Society. These included the description of blood cells, the confirmation that blood travels through capillaries, and the sighting of moving cells in human sperm, which helped refute the spontaneous generation theory. Science would never be seen with the same eyes again.